Hey, what's going on, everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and Hyvon has added another cryptocurrency to its plethora of different coins, and that is Caspa. The announcement came out in late August on Twitter, August 23rd. But now they have added Caspa, you can connect your Caspa miners, whether it's the KS0 through KS3LM, whatever which one it is, from Bitmain or Ice River directly to Hyvon. Now, I'm going to be focusing on the GPU aspect of how to get it set up on mining but rabbit mining does a really good job of breaking that down for you you're going to want to use the asic hub and once you identify the ip address of your machine and add that device to your hive on profile then you can go ahead and complete your flight sheet with your wallet address your server which you can just choose hive on to connect to and then we'll fill out the rest and then set that flight sheet for that device. I will link to Rabbit Mining down below. But Hyvon has 0% transaction fees right now. There is a 1% pool fee, and you can have up to four devices total. So maybe two ASICs and two GPU rigs. Now, a lot of people are going to say, why would you GPU mine Caspa? You're not making much. That is true. But maybe some people, their conviction in the project is strong. And so they want to stack as much Caspa as possible. Maybe they weren't early. Because in the early days of Caspa, we were making a lot of Caspa with our GPU rigs as compared to now where the ASICs have taken over. But the minimum payout is 50 Caspa, uh, is 0% transaction fees, and then the reward scheme is PPS+. Plus. Now, I only have a 3060 and 3080 for this purpose or this video uh, just for testing and to show you through the setup. So let's go through the flight sheet right now. Now, you should already have a wallet, but if you don't, I would recommend kdx wallet uh from the caspa team which i will have linked down in the description and just understand that we can compare our gpu's performance against others not only in hyvon which has it built in but also hashrate.no or what you see online just know that the environmental conditions the thermal conditions and silicon lottery can impact you even though it's the same make model and manufacturer gpus are going to perform differently from one another just be mindful of that but as far as the flight sheet goes coin in the drop down if you don't see it right away, just type KAS and you'll see Caspa come out. Wallet, I don't recommend mining to an exchange wallet, but you can see there's one in here from me during the early days where I was spec mining Caspa and converting it to a different currency like Bitcoin. This case, I'm just going to go to my Caspa main wallet, which is in my KDX. And then pool, while there's a number of different pool options out there, Hybon, just like we saw with Ethereum, when you had so many rigs connected, uh, to other pools, you were having to pay a fee. If you want to avoid that fee and put all your devices on the Hyvon pool, there you go. Up to four devices, you just select Hyvon and then choose auto. It's going to auto detect and connect to whatever's best for your location, your setup. And then in Miner, there's different miners out there and they often swap out who's the best. Like a new update will come out from LOL Miner. They're really doing good, better efficiency, better hash rate so on and so forth right now bz miner is one of my favorites so i'm gonna choose that then we can go into the setup miner config but you can't just go to hashrate.no and just copy paste what you see here so hashrate.no most of the 30 series can be about the same it's gonna be around 210 offset 17 something uh core lock the mem as low as possible uh and you can do it in hive and i'll, I'll talk to that in just a moment and then the power limit. But we can't just copy what's over here in the bottom on the, the right hand side for BZ Miner. Because if we did that and we put that in our flight sheet, watch what happens. Input format error on line one. What we want to do is we want to put it in a format that Hive OS likes or Hive On likes. And BZ makes it a little bit easier because if you go to their configurator, which I'll have linked in the description as well, you can choose your algorithm or the coin of your choice. And then you could put in each GPU one by one. Again, comparing and contrasting against what you see on hashrate.no or what, maybe what you've seen with your GPUs mining similar algorithms or uh, similar coins. Because this is a core intensive coin, okay? The memory helps out just a tad, but you really want to drop that memory as low as possible to save on power. So we put in our core offset locks on the clocks and mem and a power limit. And you can see I did a little something different here on the 3080, for example. Um, instead of 250, I have 230, and on the 3060, instead of 120, I have 130. So you just choose what's best for you and your setup, and then scroll on down, 
And I leave all the other stuff alone, like the pool address and all this username and password, because I fill that out with five automatically via the drop downs. But if I come down here and I click generate, uh, we can go ahead and hit generate o Hive OS config. Because what's on hashrate.no is more for Windows or batch files on Windows. Uh, what we want is the Hive OS parameters, and here it is. Now, typically, you could copy all of this, but what I like to do is either open up Notepad or Notepad++ and only copy what I need, which is the power limit, the core clock offset, the lock core clock, and the mem clock. And then I will be able to put that in the flight sheet, and it won't give me any issues or pushback whatsoever. And then we can go ahead and hit Apply Changes, and then save that wallet or that flight sheet, excuse me, as a name that you like, whatever you want, just so that way you know what it is. Not like anybody else will see this, but maybe you have a number of users on your account that you want to be able to speak to, that they, they'll be able to discern what is what from one another. Because you can have a lot of flight sheets, as you can see, I got a lot of favorites here, and that can cause some confusion, especially if you got multiple people working it besides you. But that is how you set up the flight sheet, at least on this particular setup, uh, if, if it was AMD, obviously, obviously you would choose a different miner. As a matter of fact, let's go back and choose a miner. What I like to use is uh, SRB miner is one of my favorites. But Team Red miner, BZ miner, LOL miner, again, these miner devs come out with an update and they outdo one another. Matt Electron has a video from five months ago that kind of compares those miners at that time. But since then, there's already been updates, so you just want to choose whatever is best because when you're watching this video, may change which miner is recommended right now. So just pick and choose, keep up to date with everything. Something else that I noticed on my rigs is that I was using an outdated driver uh, for NVIDIA, so I needed to update that which is being updated right now. And before I started updating the NVIDIA drivers, we were getting close to the hash rate that I should be for both of these GPUs. I was getting a little bit less on the 3080, uh, but it's okay because I was drawing 30 watts less juice, so I can do some tweaking and, and adjusting there. And on the 3060, we were close to where we should be. We were at 361, 365, somewhere in there, where it says hash rate.no is at 372 at 68 watts, where I was at 61 watts. So there's still a little bit of adjustment and tuning that I need to do. And I personally like to monitor my rigs with putty, but you can use the built-in uh, hive shell start or web shell, whichever you prefer for monitoring your rigs and, and managing uh, the setups and stuff like that. But as far as getting started on Hive on, it makes it super easy, whether you have an ASIC or a GPU, so you should check them out. And if you are wanting to mine Caspa, uh, mining it through the Hive on pool uh, configuration, can help you save on fees as well. You want to maximize your returns. So getting hit with a minor dev fee and then a pool fee and then another fee uh, can add up over time, especially if you don't have that much equipment. So choose what's best for you. If you want to work, you know, work with ASICs, check out Rabbit Mining's video. Greater Good also has some great stuff. Um, as far as GPs go, that is how you set it up flight sheet and wallets and all use the kdx wallet it's one of my favorites out there but that's going to do it for today's video please do me a favor on the way out hit the like button make sure to get subscribed hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out some links in the description that only you know provides insight and help to you uh, to get set up but that might provide some support for us and we appreciate it and you just have yourself a wonderful day take care i'll catch you next one